and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am coming back with a video that I've not done in a while, which is a baking video. I used to do these on my channel all the time. In fact, my first ever, ever video, which was actually on my old channel, which was deleted, not by myself, but anyway, um, was actually a baking video. So I love baking and I thought that today I would film making some blueberry muffins. I don't know what is wrong with my voice. I think that I've got hay fever. Well, I know I've got hay fever, but I think that's why my voice is a little bit off. But today we're making blueberry muffins. At the minute, I am calorie counting again. Yes, I change my mind every single week. I am sorry. If you watch my what I eat in the days, you'll probably get annoyed at the amount of times I say, I'm not counting my calories. But yes, I am. No, I'm not. Well, I am at the minute. Just because I am. Just, you know, we'll just... Yeah. And basically I will be calculating the calories of these. So if you're interested, then I will leave the calories on the screen for what each one will be now. Not sure how much this is gonna make because when I do like the batter and everything, I just kind of measure them out into my own little thingies. Like I don't divide them equally among like eight muffin things. I would just do as many as I think that I want to do when I see like the amount of batter. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make some blueberry muffins. I really do like blueberry muffins. And yeah, I am using a recipe from inspiredtaste.net. So I will leave the recipe in the description. I will write the ingredients and the method in the description as well. But this is the official website that I've got it from. So hopefully I've got all the ingredients that this particular recipe is asking for. And I think it says it makes eight. However, I know for a fact that I will make a lot more than that because I like kind of smaller ones. So yeah, just kind of bear that in mind. But yeah, I'm gonna start baking now and um, let's crack on step number one says to preheat the oven to 400 degrees fahrenheit already i am not you know i don't live in america i live in england so i deal with celsius not fahrenheit so i'm just gonna you know roughly guess that that might be at like 180 degrees i think it's safest 180 degrees is safest so i'm gonna go with that so for ingredients we need 195 grams of all-purpose flour or plain flour we also need 150 grams of granulated sugar a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. It says two teaspoons of baking powder, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of baking soda. Um, not gonna go ham with that because it can make things taste awful. 80 ml of vegetable, no, 80 ml of olive oil is what I'm using, but you can use like vegetable oil or anything like that. One, it says one large egg. Oh my God, the blueberries were nearly a goner. Sorry, one large egg, but I don't think this is a large egg. Maybe I can find a large egg. Actually, that one looks a little bit bigger. Maybe we'll get, no, that does look exactly the same. No, we'll stick with this, we'll stick with this. So yeah, one egg and we also need milk. It says we need 80 mils to 120 mils of milk. We also need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, but I don't have that, I've run out. So we'll just skip that step. And then finally, it says six to eight ounces of fresh um, blueberries. It says about a cup. So I'm just gonna pop this in. And if that's too many, then that's too many. But yeah, these are the ingredients. Um, the only thing I'm missing is vanilla extract. So step number two, after we preheated the oven, we need to whisk together the flour, the sugar, the salt, and the baking powder in a bowl. And just kind of whisk that until it's basically just combined, just so that there's no like lumps of anything. It's easier to do things step by step than to kind of throw everything into the bowl and whisk it together. So we wanna do it in stages, so that's the first stage. And also I would recommend sieving the flour. Step number three is a little bit more complicated, so I'll read it off of my phone. It says, add the oil to a measuring jug, then add the egg and then fill the jug to the one cup line with milk. So I'm just gonna add in the exact millimeters and grams that I stated for the ingredients at the beginning of each item and that is what I'm gonna do. So yeah, we're gonna add that. Oh, and then it says to whisk and combine. So yeah, add all of those ingredients together into a jug, so the egg, the oil, and also the milk. Whisk them all together. This is then when I would add in the vanilla extract, but again, I don't have it. It says to add this kind of like liquidy um, consistency. So step number four, I think it is, is to add the kind of liquidy consistency to the dry ingredients that we've just made with the flour and mix it together with a fork. Try not to over mix it too much because you don't want 
it to be like a really kind of stiff texture you want it to be kind of nice and airy the cupcakes when they come out or the muffins cupcakes muffins very similar this says it's a muffin recipe so so once everything is folded in we and kind of all mixed together we then want to add them into oh yeah did it say about the blueberries oh yeah it said fold in the blueberries next we want to fold in the blueberries so yeah fold in the blueberries next and give it a good, kind of good mix around you want to make sure that all the blueberries are like evenly dispersed because you don't want some of the muffins or cupcakes to have like loads of blueberries in and some to have none so evenly disperse them and then pop the mixture into cupcake cases the recipe like i said says eight however i know for a fact i'm going to do more than that so you'll see on the screen now exactly how many i actually make once kind of it's all popped into the little cupcake cases or the muffin cases is we then sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top of the muffins and this step is basically to kind of add a little bit of a glaze on top of them so it'll be a little bit shiny when you get it out and a little bit crispier so that's kind of like a little added touch you don't have to do that but I would recommend I would recommend and then we want to pop it in the oven so it's going to go into the oven all of these little cupcakes are going to go into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes I would recommend kind of checking on them kind of halfway through and turn the tray around if you it like if your oven doesn't bake evenly like mine doesn't my oven does not bake evenly which is really annoying and so I have to turn them around halfway through so that the front um, cupcakes can now go to the back and cook properly make sure to do that and then just kind of keep checking on on them after the 15 mark see if you need to leave them for a bit longer to check if they're done get like a knife or a little skewer stick them in the cupcakes and if it comes out clean you know they are done if it doesn't come out with clean uh, if it doesn't come out clean and there is batter still on the knife then you know that they need to go back in the oven for like a minute or two so just kind of keep checking on them but it's it's pretty straightforward then once they're out the oven all you need to do is kind of just leave them in the tray to cool for about five to ten minutes take them out of the tray leave them on the side to cool for kind of like half an hour or so and they're basically done the good thing about blueberry muffins is that they don't actually require loads and loads of like ingredients and steps and things because I think a lot of cupcakes especially um, have like a lot of toppings like buttercream whereas a blueberry kind of muffin or cupcake recipe is quite nice all you need is just the blueberries and the cake batter and you're done and you don't need to kind of think about anything else so it's a nice simple little recipe I will leave on the screen right now the calories per cupcake if you are interested but it's just a simple little recipe I'll be having one of these with my meal tonight so yeah this is the finished result of what they look like um and i hope you enjoyed watching this little baking video i will try and do more baking videos in the future i want to try and do some at my parents because i think it will be nice uh, like a nicer layout if i film a video there than in just my little kitchen but yeah thank you for watching and um, please subscribe i will leave the link for well i will leave the ingredients and the method for this recipe in the description so go and check that out if you're interested in making these yourself remember if you make less muffins the calories will be more if you make more muffins the calories will be less um so if you make the same amount as me you know exactly um how many calories are in each one if that is what you're interested in if you're not interested in calories then just don't listen to what i'm saying but yeah thanks for watching and see you soon Bye.